and welcome to this video and if you're new welcome to my channel so today it's time for another haul video i want to show you all the product that i bought during the september and uh, there are a lot of stuff so if you want to see what i bought keep on watching i have a lot of makeup this month to show you guys and i uh, already filmed a couple of review and first impression videos with this product so if you're new to my channel don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss those and hit that notification bell so you know every time i upload and the one of the products i bought it's double wear nude water pressure makeup foundation estee lauder as you know estee lauder double wear it's my favorite foundation so i was kind of curious to try this and this is what i have on my face today so it's a beautiful foundation but what i really think about them you have to subscribe or keep on watching my videos because i just put this on and right now it looks flawless but we'll see during the day how it will hold and it's the packaging where it that it came in and i also bought the pump so this product didn't came with the pump no 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 oh no i had to buy the pump separately so i bought the pump and uh, put that on the bottle so so i can take out the product I also bought the SLO the double with stay in place eyeshadow base as you know I always look for a good eyeshadow base and I was kind of curious to try Estee Lauder double wears looks almost like a paint pot but it's not and it's what I have on me today so when you watch the video when I review the foundation I'm going to review this product also so it's kind of it feels light on the eyes and right now it looks good my eyeshadow went on smoothly it was very easy to blend my eyeshadows so right now i do like it but we'll see if it will crease during the day and the packaging then i also bought the concealer double ray stain place concealer and i got the shade uh, 2c light medium cool and uh, it's an okay concealer right now it, does, it didn't crease it do doesn't look heavy under my eyes it's one shade lighter than my skin tone so if you're looking for a lighter one by one uh, by the light this is light medium and uh, right now i do like it but we'll see also how it goes and the review for this concealer is also going to be in the video where i review the foundation and the eyeshadow base so and of course my favorite foundation estee lauder double wear foundation stay in place the bottle is empty and i immediately ordered another one so i bought the foundation double wear that i love 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 that's my favorite foundation this is my third bottle so i bought the that foundation and of course i bought the pump for that foundation too so i bought two pumps one for that uh, double wear uh, double wear nude water fresh makeup foundation this one and I bought the pump for my regular old double wear stay in place foundation. So I have two pumps for each foundation. I don't understand why then they put the pump straight on the packaging, but we'll, they maybe do that in the future. And then I got, uh, I had to try the Revolution, Makeup Revolution Brow Pomade. And this is medium brown it's what i have on my eyebrows today and i have to say when i started using this and i did use this the whole month because i uh, bought it in the beginning of september and i got so many compliments for my eyebrows and you get this nice small brush now i don't really like this brush it's too small so i i kind of use it sometimes but not all the time and the brow pomade looks like this if you can see i did use it a lot but it's a little bit dry i don't know if my is drier than it's supposed to be it's it's not as liquidy and moussey as i thought it would be but it works and i do like it so i don't know i don't i never tried any of the pomades so this is my first pomade that i ever bought and i do like it it's kind of a little bit dry but it's okay i can use it and i really really like it this is the packaging the brush i use this one side to put the pomade on and the other side to kind of blend the concealer around 
I do reach for the br brush, but I would prefer to use another. And then I bought this foundation, the All Hour Foundation. This is the new foundation from YSL. And I already filmed a review and first impression video with this using this foundation. And I have in shade B30. Very nice foundation. I do like it. Uh, I did get a little bit oily. But you watch that video. It will come soon on my channel. Um, nice, nice foundation. It's heavy. It's a little bit heavy, but it's a good foundation. And I then bought also this all our primer from YSL. This is the packaging. I love gold packaging. I love gold. Rose gold and gold are my favorite shades. And this is how the primer looks like. I tried that also once on that in that video and I do like it but I have to try this uh, this primer with other foundations like my Estee Lauder double. I exactly know how that foundation works on my skin and when I try new primers I do like to use that foundation then I can see if that primer works and doesn't work but uh, first impression I did like it but we have to use it I have to use it a couple more times to just see if it really works I kind of speak fast because I have a lot lot of products here if you can see my nails they are long and beautiful I really like them I bought these on um, Wish, I think these nails kind of almond shaped. I really like these. They are really light and easy to work with. So I bought those and I also bought these for my nails. I like them. And then I needed a good glue for my nails. So I bought this Broadway Nails Jet Set 3 Seconds Nail Glue. Now there are two bottles in this one. The one is in my purse because if I lose one, I need it to fix fast because I can't walk around without a nail. So I always have one in my purse. I do like it. This is the first time I've used this because I wanted to buy the Kiss uh, nail glue, but it was out of stock in the store. So I bought this one. Uh, and I was in hurry because I did lost a nail so I needed to fix that fast and it did work so I like this one I do like it and I love having two bottles because if I lose one I have a second then I bought this Real Technique uh, brush cleansing gel if you follow me you saw that I used uh, Echo Tools I think it's the um, cleansing gel for my makeup brushes and I didn't like it this one i don't know really what i think i did use a couple of times and i i use a lot of this product to really make my brushes clean i don't know if that's only me i do like it but i think i think there are better cleansing gels out there i just didn't find it myself because i use a lot of this product i use a lot of it to get my brushes clean and i don't know if i supposed to use that much as much as i use but I don't know, it's an okay cleanse. It's better than the one that I had before, so. And I use makeup every day and I don't have time to clean my brushes every day, every time I use them. So I went and bought this e.l.f. daily brush cleanser. Oh my god, this is so strong. This stinks. It stinks alcohol. It does clean the brushes beautifully. I can't complain about that. But oh my god, my brushes smell like alcohol for a long time after using this. And they smell too strong. So I kind of couldn't I couldn't use my brushes because it that smell didn't went away. So I went and bought this brush cleansing for makeup brushes. And this is a Kix brand, I think. The Kix is like um, Sephora but Swedish. There is a store with a lot of different makeup brands and they started to make their own uh, makeup brushes makeup so and this is one of their cleansing uh, sprays and this does smell too like alcohol but it doesn't smell as near as this one so i prefer using this 
And then I also went and bought these two powder puffs for my uh, powder. I want to try to bake with these. And this is also Kicks. And then I got this from Kiss. This is nail re removal. So you put your nail into this pack bottle and then you wait a couple of minutes and you kind of twist your finger and your nails are removed. So I needed that for these nails. Okay, and then I needed a good setting spray, all control fixing setting spray, and I bought this one. I like this a lot. It works beautifully, but this they can do better. It kind of sprays uneven and I get more into on my hair and my eyes than I get on the face. So it's kind of a little bit strong, but it's a good spray. And then I also got this foundation finally from Wet n Wild Focus, Photo Focus Foundation. And this is soft beige. I bought two other shades, one lighter and one darker, and I gave them away to my sister so she could try the foundation. I also did a first impression with this foundation and I do like it. So I'm so happy to finally try this foundation. Okay, I have to keep on talking because I have a lot of products uh, still to show you guys. And then I bought this uh, goodie called Dream Serum. The first time I saw this was on Instagram and I got curious and I bought this bottle. It cost a lot and the shipping was free. But when I received this, received this, I had to pay taxes. So I paid almost as much as two bottles. Too expensive for me. I really like this. Really, really like this. And I want to buy more, but it's too expensive for me to receive it to Sweden. So I don't know. I'm going to use this and I will consider buying it. Or again, because I do like it. I do like it. And then I bought this. When I received this packaging, look at it, it's beautiful. And I don't know if you can see, but there is like a ball in there. Can you see? It looks like a ball. And I thought, okay, I'm going to find a ball in this. And this is Models own mirror effect nail polish plus one two in one base top coat. And this is called one night stand. And look how beautiful this packaging is! Oh my god! So I really like the packaging. So when I open this, this is what I found inside no ball, but it looks like that, but it's just the packaging. And I did try this and I did film it. So I'm going to put that video on. Look how beautiful this is. And this is how my nailed, nails look like. But I have to say, you have to watch that video. You have to watch that video. I won't say anything more about this. I'm going to put that video maybe next week. I will try and I want you to see how it looks and how it looks after a couple of hours. So I'm not going to talk about this more. And then let's keep on moving. I bought these, uh, what is this? This is the chrome nail powder and this is in gold rose. I didn't try it. I bought it on Wish, but I didn't try it. Got this Rexona Max Maximum Protection. This is what I like to use. It makes me sweat less and smell nice the whole day so i like this and then i got this gunnery uh, makeup removal wipes i like them they are not the best they are cheap they're not the best but they do remove my makeup so i bought these i bought two of these and this is one then i bought finally finally this paradise ecstatic mascara from l'oreal that's what I have on my eyes and only have one coat. So this is beautiful. And I also bought this and gave one to my sister. I bought two for me and one for giveaway when I reach 500 subscribers. 
And I also got this from 007 Tweak It magnifying mirror and tweezers. So when I don't wear contacts, I really have a hard time to see anything on my, not anything, but I have really hard time to see my eyebrows that I need to take out. And I also, when I wear contacts, I also have a hard time to see perfectly. So I need to wear glasses to see and I can't fix my eyebrows when I have glasses on. That's um, impossible for me. So I bought these because I need this mirror. I do need it because I have to see. And I like it, didn't try them, but packaging looks beautiful. And then I bought two of these Isadora liquid lip creams. Uh, this is one shade, that's what I wear on today. These are beautiful. Uh, the other shade is in my purse. I'm too lazy to get up and get it here. But I have a video watches on my lips and my hands. So please subscribe if you already have it so you don't miss that if you're interested to see how these look. Then I also bought this eye eyebrow razor from 007 and I did try it and look how beautiful this packaging is. I don't know if you can see but it's holographic. Look at these are the worst razors I've ever tried. So I won't use it. It wasn't expensive, that's good because they are very bad. I know I bought a couple of very cheap razors and they work beautifully, but this packaging sold me. I was sold. When I saw this packaging, I was sold. So I had to buy it to try it and I hate it. Won't recommend it. Then I bought a couple of nail polishes from Isadora or Isadora. And this is uh, in shade aqua glow beautiful like uh, purple bluish gray color and then i bought the other one and this is 547 metallic bliss also like gray silvery shade metallic and i bought this rose gold 556 very nice rose gold shade like it and i also bought this um Peel off base. Peel off base. But this does peel off very easy. Be careful when you use peel off bases because the the nail polish won't stay longer on the nails. But I bought this one. And I bought a couple of more shades, but I can't really find them right now. But I will put them in my next haul video. And then I was kind of curious to try this product. Look at it. And this is supposed to massage your face or skin and dry area. I don't know if you can hear it. It's loud. You can kind of massage under eyes. I don't know. Can work. It's beautiful. I'm definitely going to use it. I didn't. I did try it, but I didn't use it, so I can't say if it works. But it's supposed to make under eye circles less visible and make that your skin texture more even and healthier look. I don't know. It promised a lot. We'll see. And when I was uh, ordering a lot of stuff, I got this as a present. It starts with cleansing that understands your skin. Erno Laz Laszlo, New Yorker. I don't know if I pronounced that right, but I didn't even open it. I got this as present because I bought a lot of stuff on the website. Try not to break any name. Okay, so look how cute. Okay, the first step it's soft and pump. This is the pre cleansing oil. Then you take the second step. This is the second step. I don't know if you can see. This is sea mud deep cleansing cleansing bar, and then you have the th third step. This is a light controlling lotion. So cute! Look at the packaging. It's so beautiful. So cute packaging. Like it. And I'm going to try it. So we'll see how this works. I watched a YouTuber that may I don't know what her name is, but I will put the name her name here on uh, the screen so you can see it. 
uh, she made her own nail oil for healthy long beautiful nails and she used yo -yo jojoba oil yojoba oil and this is vitamin e gel so th she's mixed these two and made her own nail oil so i bought these on vitamins i don't know what the website is but i'm going to put link down below i bought these and i want to create my own nail oil this is uh, this jojoba oil is uh, good for the hair for the skin all over the, your body and this is also good for uh, provides your skin with natural moisturizers that keep soft condition and restore skin tones vitamin rich uh, this gel has a natural co natural color is fragrance free and non greasy apply a small amount to your skin and massage gently you will immediately see and feel the difference so this is also good for the, your skin and this one so it's not only for the nails but i bought these and yeah i'm kind of excited to mix these and see what i get okay then uh, last but not least i got this uh, the magic by Jouvet. this is the beautiful palette that i've used a couple of times beautiful shades So I got this. I'm not going to do any swatches or anything because it, this video is already too long to use this. And then I got this also from my sister for my birthday. I got this palette. This is the Queen of Hearts. I already talked about this on my channel and I filmed this fall makeup look that it's coming up next week on my channel too. So this is how this palette looks like. Oh my God, I love this palette. This is so beautiful and I use this not every day but almost every day because I switch between these two and the third that I have here in front of me right now. The third that I have in front of me right now is what I got from my husband and my children for my birthday. This is the Zoeva Caramel Melange. Caramel Melange eyeshadow palette. This is how it looks. Beautiful for the fall. Beautiful. For the fall. It kind of reminds me of this, uh, the Queen of Hearts pal Queen of Heart palette, and I love the packaging on both these. Some of the shades are similar, but they are really not. So I love both of them for this for the fall. Beautiful shades, easy to blend. Love them, and I also love this one. I tried so hard to get my hands on this, and when I finally did, I screamed of happiness. So I think guys that was everything that I have for you in this video right now. There are a lot of stuff. Uh, some of them I did try and like. Some of them I tried and didn't like. And some of them I will try of course. Um, yeah I bought a couple of other things that I'm waiting for. And I'm so excited. And uh, you have to subscribe to not miss that. And yeah that was everything I had for you today. Thank you so much for watching. Give a thumbs up if you like this kind of videos. And I hope I see you in my next one. Bye.